So in this lecture, we are going to discuss non-recursive descent parsers. Okay, non-recursive descent parsers, which is also known as LL1 parsers. Clear? So it comes under top-down parsers without backtracking. Right? back backtracking without backtracking okay so it comes under top down parser without backtracking non recursive descent parsers or we also say this ll1 parsers clear so so ll1 parsers why we call them ll1 because this 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 l represents that we are scanning that we are scanning the input from left to right from left to right clear and this l represents this l represents leftmost derivation leftmost derivation okay and what this one represents this one represents that how many symbol it is also known as look ahead look ahead so that means how many symbol are you going to see when you want to make a decision okay so this is look ahead and here it is one so generally in LL1 we are going to take only one symbol. In LL1 generally we take only only one symbol. Okay. Clear? Now So we have one stack. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you how we can how we can make LL1 parsing table. Okay, how we can construct LL1 parsing table using a given grammar. So we have one stack here, okay, and we have a dollar here. So stack is the data structure which is used for procedure of parsing. This is important, okay. Stack is the data structure which is used for the procedure of parsing. Clear? Now, so we have one input buffer. Input buffer, okay, which is having a dollar. Okay, so inside the input buffer, we will have the input. Clear? Then we have LL1 parser, LL1 parser, that is our parsing algorithm. Our parsing algorithm clear so now <clears throat> using this parsing algorithm and this input buffer this input buffer we are going to construct what we are going to construct ll1 parsing table using this input buffer and this algorithm parsing algorithm we are going to construct ll1 parsing table okay so and this ll1 parsing table is the data structure which we shall construct using a given grammar okay this is the data structure this is the data structure which we shall which we shall construct using a given grammar using a given grammar clear this LL1 parsing table. So why dollar is used? Now this is the question. Why dollar is used? Dollars is dollar is used just to guess when we should stop. When we should stop reading the input. Okay. So dollar will stay in the end. Okay. So this dollar represent when we should when we should 
stop okay so whenever in our input when dollar comes that means we have to stop now clear okay so these are the uh, few basic things related to 11 parcel parcels now before constructing ll1 parsing table before constructing ll1 parsing table we should know two functions we should know two functions one is first and second one is follow okay so now let's understand what is uh, first function and what is follow function so, so let's take an example suppose the given grammar is something like this a drives b b drives small c c drives small d and d drives a so suppose this is the given grammar to us and we have to find the first and the follow so first we will discuss the first of all the variables so we always find we always find first of variables and you know the here in this grammar the variables are s a b c and d right so whatever is in the uppercase that are variables and we have to find first of variables and whatever is in the lowercase that are terminals right so terminals are according to this grammar terminals are small a b c d and e clear so we are going to find first of each variable clear now as per this grammar as per this grammar first of first of s first of s will be start with the first symbol and generate all the strings so we have to find the first of s so just see this production the uh, so s drive s is uh, driving a a b c d right so what is first in this this is the first so the first of s is small a clear always always the first of any variable will be a terminal okay not a variable clear now what is first of capital a so first of a is now a is driving b so first of a is b clear first of b what is first of b here first of b is c first of c capital c is this d small d and first of capital d is this small e clear so in this way we can find out the first of any variable and we will also see more examples based on that okay so basically the first function is if i have a variable if i have a variable from that variable if you try driving all the strings then whatever is coming coming in the beginning whatever is coming in the beginning the first terminal that means the first terminal is also known as first of that variable clear so whenever we we are we are going to drive a string using a variable any variable s a b c d whenever we 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 are trying to drive a variable i mean a string from this variables whatever is coming in the beginning that means the terminal will be known as first of that variable so here small a is the terminal that is first of s so first of a is b because a is driving the first terminal is b small b here so first of a is b first of b is c using this first of c is small d first of d is small e clear now now we are going to discuss the follow follow function so what is follow what uh, whatever is the terminal which can follow a variable in the process of derivation so let's take an example okay so suppose we have something like this okay so just keep this in mind always always the s is the starting symbol as we know that so always the follow of s 
फॉल ऑफ एस विल बी डॉलर ओके सो फॉल ऑफ एस विल बी डॉलर क्लियर बिकॉज इफ वी हैव समथिंग एज द इनपुट लाइक दिस सो इन दी एंड इन द इनपुट बफर वी विल बी हैविंग डॉलर सो फॉल ऑफ एस विल बी डॉलर क्लियर नाउ नाउ लेट्स टेक अ फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन दिस सो इफ यू हैव टू फाइंड if you have to suppose this is the given grammar a b c d right a drives small b b drives small c c drives small d and d drives small e so suppose this is the given grammar and we have to find we have to find follow of follow of s so follow of s as we know will be dollar now follow of capital a so we have to see this production fall of a what is following a capital b is following so whenever a variable is following a variable so we have to find the first of that variable okay so here b is following a and we are we are we have to find fall of a right so b is following a so we have to find the first of b and first of b is the first terminal which is driving so fall of a will be small c clear or we can write it as fall of a will be first of b c d because b c d are following this capital a right so first of b c d first of b c d as that means first of b first of b is small c clear now the fall of fall of b now fall of b which is following b cd is following b so first of first of cd first of cd and first of c is first of first of cd is first of c clear and first of c is this small d so fall of fall of b will be small d okay now suppose we have to find fall of capital c so which is following c capital c d is following so first of d first of d will be fall of c and what is first of d first of d is small e so small e is the fall of c clear now let's find out fall of capital d what is following capital d nothing that means fall of s okay whenever there is nothing following that uh, variable then we have to find the fall of the left hand side variable always okay so here nothing is following capital d right so we have to find the fall of the lhs variable that means the fall of s and fall of s we know what is dollar it is dollar clear so in this way we can find out fall okay now few things you should note down here is that are very important first one is follow will never contain follow will never contain epsilon clear so follow will never contain epsilon clear second thing is if uh, if nothing is following a symbol as we have seen in the previous example if nothing is following a symbol then definitely there will be a dollar in the end right if we are when suppose this is the grammar a b c d here if we have to find out the fall of d then that nothing is following this variable so we have to find out fall of left hand side and if it is a starting symbol then fall of will be fall of s will be dollar if it is not a starting symbol then we have to find fall of that variable so for example for example if something if we have something like this a drives b c okay suppose this is not a starting symbol we have something like a b c something like this and we are going to a b like c. so we have to find suppose we have to find here fall of c what is following c nothing so we have to find fall of a fall of a clear clear 
So suppose if uh, fall off A is something like uh, B here, fall off A is B, right? And suppose B is driving small A. So fall off A is fall off B, not first of B. Fall off A is here, fall off A is what? First of B. So first of B is small A. So fall off C will be small A. So later on we will see many examples based on first function and follow function so every doubt your every doubt will get clear after watching those examples and one more thing you should note down that in first we get epsilon okay in first function we can get epsilon but in follow function as we have written this in follow function we can never get epsilon here this is important okay so whenever we are going to find the first of any variable we can get we may get epsilon if it is present in the production okay and in case of follow we never get epsilon clear so in the next in the next lecture we are going to take uh, many examples based on this okay